Hi guys, Level Up here. I recently did a video on how to build Deadeye for PvE, and one of the best applications of this build is doing open world boss runs. So I've done open world boss runs with a number of different builds in the past, tacticians, assault rifle DPS, sniper builds. By far the quickest way to get through is, i found, using Deadeye. And the reason for this is because you're mainly dealing with red NPC mobs, and these guys you can one shot with any decent Deadeye build using a bolt action. Um, and because we're stacking a lot of damage to elites, we can pretty much two shot all the bosses as well. So it means you can just absolutely breeze through a boss run in about 25 minutes. So I wanted to share that. Um, the build you can find in the description below and also at the end of the video. So please do check it out if you haven't seen it already. But in this video I'm going to go through and show you where all the bosses are and what the best route is to farm them. So I tend to start off at Autumn's Hope safe house to take care of Bullet King at the start. So Bullet King is a fairly simple Riker. He's got no particular special weapons, he's just a standard elite Riker. So if you exit the safe house, head to the right out the doors, um, head to the right again and we'll come to an opening. If you turn left you'll see a big garbage shopping truck in front of you and there will be Bullet King. He's normally either there or if you've just missed him he'll be up here and to the, to the left. So very simple, pretty much, I think I three shot at him just because I didn't have any perks up. So once Bullet King's down I like to head to Amherst apartment and we'll fast travel there and first of all we'll take care of Soretto. So Soretto is a heavy cleaner but he, where we're gonna meet him he's quite far away so it's quite easy to just snipe in sort of six to seven shots and take down without really being any in any danger at all. So head to this car here on the left and we're going to do attack advance to this crate and we're going to pop pulse and then we'll make mincemeat of Soretto. Although I'm not sure why those first few shots didn't register, it's a bit strange. But as you can see we're doing huge amounts of damage and he is down. So nice and simple. And we'll just have to finish off um, a handful of just red NPCs that aren't any issue. There's a few risers and cleaners going at it. We'll take these down and as soon as we're out of combat we can fast travel to the next destination. There we go, out of combat. So we'll pick up our loot and we'll head off So we're going to fast travel straight back to Amherst and now we're going to take care of Strings who is by the rail um, lines and Strings is I think a, an, a light machine gun rioter. So if you head directly opposite Amherst, head to the right, you'll see a staircase coming down on your left. You don't need to go down, if you're like me, you're running an M700 with elevated, you're better off staying high. There you go. If you can get his weak point even easier, and then we can just take out the rest of the guys with consummate ease. There we go, one shot them all, collect our loot, and we will head to the next destination. So the next boss we're going to go to Kerman Station we're going to take care of Erskine. So Erskine is a, he's a grenadier, I think he's a cleaner. He's very easy to take care of. It's a bit of a run so head out of the safe house, head to the right hand escalator or staircase. And do a, a 180, go straight back on yourself, 
and you'll see a few crates here that you can just climb over and then once you're over these you're gonna head straight all the way to the end of this road uh, I'll sped it up because it's a bit boring so we're gonna head straight down all the way to the end and what I like to do is cover on here and tack advance to the end of the truck pop your pulse on the way and you can quite easily two shot the guy and there you go take care of the other guys again in one shot so you can just see how quick and easy it is to just breeze through this the longest time is running to the destinations generally so next up we're going to head to the cavern and we'll find Fumes who is uh, in the underground in some of the, uh, the tunnels so if you head to this tunnel exit indicate this area is safe. we're going to turn left we're going to go up the ladder Morning. and we're going to go up the next ladder we head to the left there's a doorway there and we'll head to the left and left again and you'll see a pillar ahead of you if you cover on that and then do a cover to cover to the third pillar along pop your poles again and fumes will appear and you can two shot him he's interestingly the only one who has a veteran mob around him um, these guys kind of randomly spawned in I've never seen them come in like way before but they're sometimes around the area and you'll always have a few uh, other red mobs to take care of but no issue the problem is here you normally aggro guys on the surface so you you can't fast travel you're gonna have to uh, just run back in the direction you came from until you get your out of combat notification so as soon as we're out of combat here we are we're gonna go fast travel to the next boss so Next up, we'll head to Hudson Refugee Camp and we're going to take care of Frey and Five O. Both rioters, I believe. So head directly south from Hudson Refugee Camp. Past the scaffolding on the left. You come to a, a crossroads and you want to turn left at this car here so often there are a few guys just a front that you'll need to take care of I didn't have them this time um, but either way they're pretty easy to kill I would recommend doing a cover to cover move from here to the next wall popping your pulse on the way and Frey will be just up ahead so he's a grenadier Sometimes you can get lucky and get his weak point, there you go. And then you just take care of the remaining reds. Now once we've killed these guys, we'll get the loot and we will continue in the same direction. So heading south, you want to aim for this truck with all the lights around the outside quite a good landmark that hop over the fence fairly often you'll find a couple of guys here to take care of obviously no issue and then you'll see beyond this bus stop there's an opening to the left climb over the fence and this is where you'll find 5-0 there's often these couple of red guys here to take care of. Again, easy peasy. Try and find somewhere to do attack advance. And 5 0 will be just down at the end here. So pop your pulse. There he is. Two shot him, one shot his mate. And to finish off any others that are straggling around. Collect our loot and we'll move on to the next boss. 
So next up, we're going to head to Napalm Production site. And we're going to go and kill Belza, who is a cleaner boss just south of Napalm. So do a left from Napalm. Uh, you'll see a garbage truck ahead of you. There's a lot of garbage trucks around, but head this direction and you'll probably come across a number of standard cleaners um, and some shield guys as well before you get to Belva. Again, easy to take care of. One shot. What I'd like to do is do a cover to cover move from this police car to this car here and he can normally one shot Belza or two shot him. I've got his weak point there. And again just finish off there's only be a couple more left to finish off. Make sure you're out of combat and we head to the next destination. So next up we're going to head towards, you could go to Riot who is at the bottom of Union Square but there's not a lot of point because it's slightly longer to run there from there than it is to run from the safe house. So we're going to head to Police Academy and take care of Corporal Wright who is just south of the Police Academy mission. So sometimes it's easy to put a waypoint in case you're not quite familiar with the surroundings. So you want to head basically west and south and then east. There'll always be a few uh, along the way. Sometimes you'll get about two to three mobs I would think on the way. If you're lucky you can avoid a couple of them. But you know, they're just a pain in the arse so you might as well kill them. So when the mobs are down, head to the school bus if you're using an M700 carbon with elevated on it and you want to climb on the school bus and pop your pulse and you'll see Corporal right there in the, in the, the crowd. Two shot him and then one shot his mates, collect his loot and move on. So next up we will head to uh, the ward safe house uh, where we will take on Chains who is a, a heavy Riker. He's one of the more difficult ones just because he's much harder to kill uh, but again you know, as long as you're able to kill a, a heavy Riker LMG guy you'll be fine. So head left out of the safe house and then left at the first road you come across. So again there's generally a few mobs around this, this guy here often is there being the civilian to death. Nice of him. Carry on straight and you want to head towards this basketball court here on the left and again there will be a few mobs so you're best off just killing them just to get them out of the way. So the basketball court is here. Let's kill this guy. Annoying. Is it somewhere? There he is. And we're going to head through the basketball court, which is there on our left, and follow it through and round. And chains be here on the left. So 
So just be careful with him, take your time. There we go. And from Chains, we're going to head north to the, the Dark Zone East 31st Street checkpoint, where we're going to head directly east from there and take down Gunny Sergeant Lewis. So get your bearings and head out of the safe house. Uh, or the dog's end checkpoint rather and just head straight and very shortly you'll come across uh, Gunny Sergeant Lewis there we go popped up in front of our very eyes so pop your pulse and he's normally running away actually so you can normally get his point if you've got a half decent aim. Take him out and his LMB buddies. There's a few Rikers around as well normally so they, they often fight each other to be honest. Uh, if not you can just take them out at the end. That's the beauty of this build. You can just one shot everything from a distance and it's so so simple. Just makes getting out of combat a lot quicker as well. There we go, just take care of them. We're out of combat now so we can fast travel to our next boss. So next up, head to Russian Consulate, where we're going to go south and slightly east and kill Corporal Doorsman, who is a, another LMB guy. So they're all LMB now as we get onto the sort of northeast side of the map. So from Russian Consulate, literally head directly south. So on your left you'll see a parking garage which is full of red LMB guys. They're just a pain in the ass. So avoid them if you can. This is not it's just a waste of time. Um, and head towards this truck here. And sort of just pop your pulse to try and find him. There he is. He's either there or he's a little bit further down. If you're lucky, he's close to you. Then you can take him out and then obviously you'll have anything from probably half a dozen to a dozen standard red LMB guys. One shot them all. And collect your loot. So you're normally going to end up filling up, unless you've got like no uh, no items in your backpack. So, you know, you might have to stop and clear out your stuff before you can pick everything up. So once he's down, we're going to head north to the, the next safe house, the firewall, where we're going to take on Sergeant Jacks. And then from Sergeant Jacks, we're going to head north, west and kill Apollo who is the last boss in the uh, the northeastern part of the map you are so we'll do a, a quick area. restock while we're here so head straight out the safe house head towards these crates climb over to the left of the scaffolding, just drop down and carry on in this uh, sort of westerly direction uh, and then head north uh, north a couple of streets and you're going to come across a, a flatbed truck soon so this one here so head into that you don't have to head into it, sometimes it's a, it's a bit of a pain actually but head towards that um, and you'll find Sergeant Jax there he is, he's a heavy LMB shield guy but yeah there's a few guys to take over around here 
Aim better than me, and you'll kill him in no time. So I am making very hard work of this. It's, uh, it shouldn't be this difficult. There you go. If you can get his weak point, it's just game over. A couple of body shots, you'll be fine. And then you can just clean up his mates very quickly. But yeah, I mean, the beauty of Dead Eye is it's just so quick and easy to do these runs. No faffing about, it's just kill, 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 move on. So Apollo is going to be roughly by that fabric store. If you do a waypoint and just follow that, it doesn't take very long to get there. You'll often find there's LMB around because they do frequent the sort of northern easterly part of the map. And it takes a few seconds to get rid of them. So back on the road, following our, uh, our GPS signal. So here it's going to head to the right. And you'll see there's like a fence here. If you head to the right of this fence, because sometimes there's a, a bunch of LMB guys that are in the middle there. Uh, and it's just easier to avoid them if you can. And then when you head out the other ends, you'll see a rope right in front of you. So I recommend climbing straight up that rope and you'll see there'll be a mob here, just a red mob, ignore those. You'll see Apollo and his little gang here directly ahead of you. So take down Apollo as quick as you can. He's a first wave agent, so he's got skills. He's got, I think, turrets and seekers. Uh, so kill him quickly, take out his mates, uh, and then, then finish off the uh, the other mobs that are probably going to be around. So head down the rope, collect your loot. Unfortunately, uh, no exotics for me this time. Uh, and the last one we haven't done yet is Riot. So the easiest way to kill Riot is to go to the last call safe house and head head west and south down to the bottom of the, uh, the Union Square area. This is the sort of the most boring part to be honest. Sometimes I just miss Riot because he's yeah, it's just kind of annoying. So it's a few minutes to get there. Morning. Exiting the safe area. Uh, so stick a waypoint in and just follow it down. So I'll speed things up because it's uh, quite a boring walk. So normally when you approach the area, you're likely to come across a few red mobs. So I would advise take care of those before you engage Riot. And if you head back to the right, he is normally around this truck. So yeah, if you can find something to do attack advance off. And, and a quick pulse. And you'll be laughing. Two shots him, kill his mates. Job done. And that's how to do a, a quick boss run with consummate ease in about 25 minutes. So there you go. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please do drop me a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.